Hey there, Psych2Goers. Here we are again with another interesting take on everyday psychology. So let's begin. It's all too easy to fall for someone's wit and charm, to get swept away by their romantic words and gestures. But there's a lot more to falling in love than just thrill and excitement. It's about trusting someone with your most precious possession, your heart. And you can't have that with a person who just wants to have fun and flirt all the time. You wouldn't want to give your heart away to someone who won't take care of it, who might cheat on you or leave you for the next person that comes along. So if you want to save yourself all that pain and heartache, here are eight warning signs that you might be dealing with a player. One, they're overconfident. Confidence is an attractive quality to have. And just because someone is confident doesn't necessarily mean that they're a player, right? But there's a fine line between being confident and being cocky. And most players tend to fall into the latter category. They're never hesitant in telling you how they feel and asking you out because they're sure that they can make you say yes. And while many get tongue tied around the people they like, not them, they're smooth, slick, and charming as ever. It can be a red flag very early on. So watch out for this one. Two, they flatter you too much. To quote Hank Ketchum, Flattery is like chewing gum. Enjoy it, but don't swallow it. Flattery is one of the oldest weapons in the arsenal of all ladies' men. Now, it's not to say that whenever someone pays you a compliment, it's always some kind of play. But when someone is so quick to sweet talk you to the point where it starts to feel disingenuous, you might want to be wary of their actual intentions. Do they use a lot of lines that feel rehearsed and insincere? Or do you often find yourself wondering if they've told someone all those same things before? If so, watch out. Three, they're natural at flirting. Does this person in mind have a habit of flirting with other people? Have you ever caught them being a bit too friendly with the waiter or the barista or the receptionist? Even when you're out together? Some people love to flirt because it's fun and exciting. But if your partner is really serious about you, they'll stop the moment you tell them it makes you uncomfortable. But a player... A player will insist that you're just imagining things and that you should stop being so jealous. But your concerns are certainly warranted if you often catch him or her checking out someone else. Four, they're vague about everything. When asked where they've been or what they were doing, they'll usually shrug it off and say, oh, I was just doing some work or school stuff, or I had a thing I needed to do. They keep things ambiguous and make you feel like you shouldn't ask too much about it. And while you shouldn't jump to conclusions right away, you need to entertain the possibility that it might be because they're seeing other people behind your back. It would be understandable if you haven't made things official with them yet, but if you've already promised to be exclusive with one another, then why would they be hiding things and trying to keep their whereabouts a secret from you? Five, they're always on their phone. Is your partner constantly on their phone? And when you ask them who they're talking to, they brush it off saying, it's no one. Still, their phone won't stop vibrating and they're always receiving calls even when you're together. It's more than just enjoying their privacy, and you feel like they have something to hide, then that should already be the first clue that they might be trying to play you. Six, they wanna keep things casual. Has someone you've dated ever told you they don't wanna label things, or that you should just have fun and see where this goes? Even though you've already been dating for quite some time now, that means that they're not serious about the relationship and aren't ready to commit. Maybe not now, or maybe not ever. They don't introduce you to their friends and family. They're unwilling to make plans for the future with you, even if it's just date ideas for next month, because they don't plan on sticking around for too long. Seven, they hardly know you. Getting to know each other should be the first step if you truly love someone, right? If you and your partner have been on a lot of dates together and they still don't know much about you, they might not be interested in getting to know you. They have no idea how you like your coffee or what food you like to eat. They don't know your hobbies or what your favorite color is, even when you've already told them a gazillion times. And eight, you've caught them lying. Have you ever caught your partner lying to you more than once? Even if it was just a little white lie every now and then, you shouldn't dismiss intentional dishonesty. If someone you're dating can't tell you the truth and come clean about their past or their ex-partners, it might be because they know it would destroy your relationship. A player will never ever admit that they see you as just another notch on their belt. So they'll try to laugh it off or steer the conversation in a different direction when you call them out on it. To save yourself the pain, steering clear of people like this is a wise choice. 
because it's not your job to fix them. Don't fall for a player thinking that you can get them to change their ways for you because you're only going to end up disappointed and potentially heartbroken. You deserve to be with someone who's ready to commit to you and share something real, intimate, and beautiful with you. So please, don't settle for anything less. Do you relate to any of these points mentioned here? What other signs did we miss? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to comment and tell us what you think. Please do share this with those you think might benefit from it. Subscribe to Psych2Go for more helpful content. And as always, thanks for watching.